Hello, today let's talk about digital engineering with MBSE from requirements management to system architecture, traceability, validation and verification in context of jet engine controller, full authority digital engine controller, FADEC. And uh, we will talk about this presentation delivered uh, last week in uh, 2024 LEED Symposium at G Aerospace Research uh, in order to bridge the gap between uh, system engineering and engineering. Uh, as uh, Chris Schreiber from Lockheed Martin Senior Manager said uh, that uh, it is beyond simple capturing system engineering design. It is to enable a better ways of engineering systems. So let's see that in action. So we'll cover MBSC method, Magic Grid uh, for the FADEC. Then we'll talk about system model execution for model-based uh, VNV. Then we'll talk about digital threat from requirements. Uh, we'll talk about digital threat from requirements to system architecture, traceability, configuration management, VNV. And uh, at the end, we'll summarize with digital engineering ecosystem enabling all of this. So we have the SML model of uh, FADEC. It describes comprehensively and consistently using uh, this modeling language. This includes def uh, defining the requirements of FADEC, importing them into SML model, analyzing these requirements, proposing multiple operations, including the flow of control and data to fulfill these requirements, proposing a high-level system architecture, model modeling the interactions between subsystems and verifying system performance through simulation. It's also leveraging digital threat to VNV. It's based on this paper, so you can check original source, and it's based on Magic Grid method, which allows describing the system in the consistent way. Uh, Magic Grid uh, book you can download here following this QR code. It's following ISO 15288 for system engineering methodology. Um, and here, standard for the methodology, uh, Magic Grid is the methodology, and it uh, describes the system in uh, four pillars, requirements, structure, behavior, and parameters, and up to major abstraction levels, problem definition, when we analyze system context and then solution model. When we propose solution for identified system requirements, and then we will transition to the design as a model and requirements. Specifically in this sample, we are concentrating on engine restart sequence, which is very particular. And engine restart in case of uh, some emergency, uh, it's uh, different. It depends on the also engine speed of rotation and also on the flight speed of the aircraft, wind speed. Uh, and here we see we get the stakeholder needs. We transform those stakeholder needs uh, refining them with the use cases and workflows as you can see here the digital engine control unit uh, operation sequence uh, with the all alternatives as a result of that we get solution uh, uh, logical architectures uh, summarizing those functions uh, for example digital engine control unit responsible for those functions which are done here so you can see here are those functions, right? So we get uh, those functions and then interfaces based on the swim lanes are also identified logical interfaces. Then we have also fuel control system, fuel metering unit, uh, starter, we have vehicle management system, aircraft sensors, and so on. As a result of that, we get system requirements which derive from, from stakeholder needs, but now they are based uh, on the um, refinement done by the functional analysis and system context. So we identify what are the specific system requirements for the engine restart. Here we see an initiating aircraft preparation, check envelope conditions, prepare aircraft, windmill restart, assisted restart. And also we have test cases deriving from those uh, uh, test cases verifying those system requirements here. As a result of that, we will capture solution architectures which shall satisfy those uh, requirements and then also identify which one is the optimal solution architecture uh, with the uh, process of trade study. Now let's see the demo. Here we see the stakeholder needs. You can download that project from the links what we will provide in a, in a moment. 
uh, from the video demonstration uh, a description and uh, you will get full sample which is executable as you can will see later on here we see performance basic perform basic operations and those operations are isolated because they are use case based so we have uh, incoming uh, outgoing signals uh, which we can trigger during the use case execution we'll see that later on here we have system context uh, also defined uh, as was the system FADEC is our system, how it communicates with the environment. Then we have uh, measurements of effectiveness, safety, fuel efficiency, life of uh, an engine, uh, reliability. Then we have functional analysis when we go and decompose the functions and we allocate them to the logical components, grouping them logically. As you can see, the functions are responsible to be performed in those logical groups. We, as a result, we get the logical architecture system structure, which uh, represents how the the smallest uh, architecture, most compact uh, of the system. Here we have this logical architecture. with logical interfaces uh, as you can see all of that is based on the functional analysis what signals were flowing in and out uh, between uh, logical groups uh, we get uh, identified uh, and then we have uh, them represented in the internal block diagram also we have uh, interface control document automatically extracted and maintained in the in table and then we have uh, as a result uh, translating to the system requirements which now uh, are based on the logical architecture and functional analysis and also we capture the system behavior in the state machine because it's convenient to have a state-based behavior of uh, engine controller because we want to know in what state uh, what would be uh, what would be the uh, conditions uh, in which engine will uh, trigger based on the characteristics uh, like uh, speed and uh, engine speed and other characteristics altitude and so on. now uh, as a helper for this process is a heavily used uh, system execution mode and how it is used so for example you can perform uh, trade studies, uh, parametrical trade studies, automated trade studies, and you can do also cost simulation with the execution of SysML. You can cost simulate with the gas turbine in the loop. You can cost simulate with engine control in the loop coming from different tool even, you know. You can run controller logic here and then uh, simulate externally. We can perform analysis uh, with the execution roller patterns for mass and um, even for safety analysis, fault tree analysis, roll-up patterns, duration analysis, power roll-up, dynamic power roll-up analysis. We can execute system model to flesh out missing the defective and conflicting functional requirements. Uh, that would be like validation side when we run simulation of the use cases and uh, we can execute state machines, activity diagrams, sequence diagrams. We can perform model-based testing on actual system architecture automated test sequence generation, text execution, automated continuous requirements verification, regression testing using external environments. And you can get those models here, as promised, with the demos for the validation and model-based testing. Now I will go through the demos, first of all for validation and then later for the verification. Validation would be running the use case with the workflow and then sending signals manually to discuss discover the correctness of the workflow and go through that based on the scenarios so here we have those uh, send signal actions and event uh, actions and here we execute the workflow and we wait for the signal input in order to proceed also we get the decision with the possible choices so we choose and then we continue based on the choice Once we are happy with the logic and uh, we see that it is correctly captured, uh, 
uh, we are transitioning to capturing that in the solution architecture and now we can execute that state machine based uh, uh, system behavior and capture sending again signals based on custom scenarios and capture them in sequence diagram which is automatically generated as you can see on the left side uh, and then we can also execute that sequence diagram so we will transition through scenarios captured in sequence diagram because state machine does not have scenario to just wait for all the available signals and uh, events um, like uh, property change and uh, other events but you can actually execute sequence diagram and uh, execute state machine as a result of that now we can put those sequence diagrams and test the outcome of state machine and also we can input engine configurations before each test execution test captured in sequence diagram and get results in the model as you can see here capturing them and then storing them in instance model with the time step or stamp of the execution Again, if you want to learn more about this, you can uh, visit the, the video which was uh, QR code presented in slide before and uh, see how that works. And also last but not least, you can execute that in headless mode uh, or as a cameo uh, run in headless mode. Also, you can execute that through the server side uh, simulation without even having Katia Magic Cameo installed. Now going, uh, switching gears and going to the digital engineering perspective, now we'll show the dashboard which is created uh, as a result of this project to introduce connectivity to other disciplines like requirement management, uh, validation verification, uh, configuration management, traceability. For that we use 3D Experience platform and here you see dashboard which uh, consists of the tabs and then the different apps are used everything is web based so as you can see here requirements are synchronized using data hub between trm uh, uh, traceable requirement management and uh, uh, system l requirements uh, and who use doors or jama they know that uh, data hub is used for that purpose in the same way as we use here just here we can trace those requirements now to rest of the digital engineering and engineering in general here we have this traceability which allows us to show multiple sources as those boxes you know even from same model we can show multiple boxes for example solution architecture logical architecture and whatever you select is highlighted and visualized on the right side that could be 3d cat it can be sysml model can be requirements which we will see in a moment so it's linked we see how it is linked those links can be discovered for example based on the requirement synchronization between katia magic and 3d experience platform links extracted and shown here and here we can see just like test cases we can see model we can see requirements also here we have configuration management which is used in two ways with power by automatically synchronizing model from katia magic as alternative for teamwork cloud to 3d experience platform that's the second tab next tab after traceability and the next one baseline would be like file based uh, uh, a way to add the models and other data so here we see like the workflow katia magic project was synchronized and updated based on the forward commits and baselines file base you can drag models like pdf matlab models and still we can trace here for validation verification we have test structure here on the left side uh, then we have test case in the middle and on the right side we have test execution event where we can take any test from the test uh, uh, database and uh, run it and we can run automatically but actually we can do it also manually just going step by step setting the status of each step and then also overall status of the step and then we can capture that inside of the relation viewer where you can track the digital thread of actually execution of uh, events of engineering uh, so you can discover okay this milestone two test execution event uh, happened what was the test case what was the tester what was the requirement specification and what was the requirement tested and what was the actual outcome of that uh, m2 okay we have now outcome of f2 is failed now let's switch to the 
other tests executions of this test case and see who else did when execution and then that's how we discover all that uh, co connectivity based on the model based uh, ecosystem for digital engineering um, which includes also sysml but also have engineering domains now when we talk about uh, digital engineering ecosystem it is must for the dod projects for based on the last update uh, of the, the dod uh, digital engineering strategy it is a must for the uh, system engineering uh, of new project programs and projects and also for the model uh, acquisition process uh, and it consists digital engineering shall consist from hardware network software workforce and tools now what we presented we have digital engineering system uh, piece which covers CATIA magic with magic model analysis or sim toolkit cameo data hub uh, teamwork cloud and CATIA magic itself and then we have 3d experience platform which uh, includes requirements management uh, validation verification tra traceability digital threat uh, discovery with relations app bookmarks for file based configuration management and power by for automatic configuration management as alternative for teamwork cloud so the, then from process perspective uh, the process which we for the digital engineering which we present is uh, uh, covering uh, requirements management in blue system architecture in or, uh, red uh, bnb in yellow and configuration management in green so we start from requirements management we capture stakeholder needs and requirement management tool we import them from data hub to system model we analyzed stakeholder needs we execute the use cases to understand that uh, logic is correct then we do system architecture capture alternative architectures again we execute to identify optimal solution architecture and requirements verification and then uh, we store solution using power by into 3d experience platform we store requirements uh, into the with the data hub into 3d experience platform then we capture existing test cases in 3d experience platform and then we create full digital thread with the traceability app and then we can update and track the impact of changes and uh, continue the cycle so that was enabled by this digital engineering ecosystem which consists of katia magic and 3d experience platform integration for system engineering purposes uh, you can find this model in csml and also the demonstrations online and download them and review just to sh cover what we have at the major ones is product line engineering as you can see here those interfaces uh, and those are the apps use requirement management as we can see data hub is interface and this trm is a app and 3d experience platform optimization it's process composer multiple interfaces for that including for the Katia Magic multi-physics simulation with Daimola, very good integration, perhaps the best uh, simulation integrations we have. Power by uh, for the alternative for Timo Cloud to use 3D experience platform traceability, as you saw here, using uh, this TRY, TRG, and then code generation to be able to generate executable code or FMUs from Katia Magic and uh, run them uh, on external sources. Uh, and here we see big ecosystem that's external tools also and we have uh, a lot of direct integration but also we have a lot of good partners like uh, process compose internally data hub uh, rectify those internal tools but also inquiry Sindeya, those are the our partners and albers uh, group you know those are partners and uh, integrators uh, to, to deliver the ecosystem and support the integrations for multiple clients. From 3D Experience Platform, there are more apps on system engineering. There are test management, as we demonstrated, then there are electrical and fluidic engineering, which very closely relates to system engineering design activities, then the safety, reliability analysis, multi-physics simulation with Daimola, Katia Magic for system architecture, traceability, as you saw, requirements, formal analysis with uh, uh, stimulus uh, requirements management with TRM and then product architecture collaboration and then uh, project intelligence project management uh, inside of Anovia and here we see the triagrams which one are on platform which are on premises uh, and uh, which one on cloud which are on premises can be installed locally 
And that concludes our presentation for digital engineering uh, enabled with model-based system engineering from requirements to the VNV and uh, full digital trace in context of uh, full authority digital engine controller. Thank you.